Hello everyone, my name is Squad and welcome to a video that will cover every single arcane that you can put on your secondary weapon. In total, you can collect 7 secondary weapon arcanes. 3 of them are secondary secondary weapon arcanes and 4 of them are Cascadia secondary weapon arcanes. The arcanes obviously vary in effect and also where you get them. But before we get them, let's backtrack a bit and see what we need to do before you can install the arcanes. You first need to get yourself a secondary arcane adapter for the weapon you want to get arcane on. You can only get it from Teshin for 15 steel essence after you unlock the steel path. They are not that expensive, but you have quite a grind ahead of you if you want to get the adapters on every single weapon you own. I suggest you only get them from the weapons you love to play with. You can install the secondary arcanes you want to get on your weapons in the modding menu. To maximize the arcane's effect, you need a total of 21 arcanes of the same type. But yeah, that is it, let's now go over the arcanes. When it comes to the types of secondary arcanes, there are two types, as I said before, the secondary secondary weapon arcanes and the Cascadia secondary weapon arcanes. We'll go over all of them, but we'll start with the secondary secondary weapon arcanes. This is getting quite confusing. You can get these secondary secondary weapon arcanes from the steel path enemies called the Acolytes. They usually appear at the 5 minute mark of the mission and then every next 5 minutes into infinity. The drop chance of these secondary arcanes is 50%, 16.6% each since other 3 arcanes that drop are for primary weapons. You luckily are guaranteed an arcane drop though. The arcanes you can get are Secondary Deadhead, Secondary Dexterity and Secondary Merciless. Let's go over every single one of them. Secondary Deadhead is an arcane that will increase the damage of your secondary weapon by 120% each time you kill an enemy with a headshot. The effect stacks up 3 times to a total of 360% damage increase. A stack lasts for 24 seconds and when it is over, you will only lose the effect of one stack. The rest will refresh and continue to buff you. The secondary Deadhead Arcane also has two passive effects, with the first one 30% added headshot damage and the second one reduced recoil by 50%. I know reduced recoil doesn't sound like a good thing, there's better things to have, but just try it on your weapons. It has such a nice feeling to it. The second secondary arcane we can get is Secondary Merciless, which will increase your damage with the secondary weapon by 60% each time you kill an enemy with a melee weapon. The effect stacks up 6 times to a total of 300% secondary weapon damage increase, and it lasts for 20 seconds. Each time the timer reaches 0, you will only lose 1 stack, not the whole effect, so you're good for quite some time. This arcane also has two passive effects, which are always active. The first one is increased melee combo duration by 7.5 seconds, which makes it easier to not lose your combo multiplier while switching between the melee and the secondary weapon. And the second effect is increased holster speed by 60%, which also adds to the effect of increased weapon exchange speed. I would recommend using this arcane with glaive weapons. The third arcane you can get is Secondary Merciless, which in my opinion is the strongest since it can apply on most weapons. The arcane increases the damage of your secondary weapon each time you kill an enemy by 30%. It stacks up 12 times to a total of 360% damage increase with a stack lasting 4 seconds. Each time the timer comes to zero, you will lose one stack and not the whole thing. But you still need to kill quite fast. This arcane, Secondary Merciless, also has two passive effects. The first one is increased reload speed by 30%, which is always nice, and the second effect is increased ammo capacity by 100%. Yeah, it is freaking great, this arcane is perfect for AoE weapons. Just explode and get a lot of freaking stack damage. Those are all the secondary arcanes you can get by killing the Acolytes on the Steel Path. Now let's go over the arcanes you can get from your friendly arms dealer Cavalero on the Zariman. He sells 4 arcanes of the Cascadia type for various amounts of holdfast standing. You can also get the Cascadia arcanes by killing Thrax enemies, Ravenous Void Angels and the normal Void Angels in the Zariman missions, which I recommend doing, at least at the start. 
the drop chance of one Cascadia Arcane is 0.33% per Arcane by killing a Thrax enemy, 0.67% by killing a Ravenous Void Angel and 1.67% by killing a normal Void Angel. The pool of Arcanes these enemies drop from is huge, so Cascadia Arcanes might not drop that often, but they do still drop. For example, a Thrax enemy has a 5% chance to drop any Arcane Cavalero cells. I suggest you farm them here if you have a double mod booster, because the drop chances are doubled. For example, a Thrax enemy has a 10% chance to drop the Arcane. But yeah, let's now go over the Cascadia Arcanes. Cascadia accuracy is triggered each time you roll. You will get an increased headshot critical chance by 300%, but only for headshots. The effect lasts 4 seconds, which is not the best, but it is easy to roll, so it doesn't matter that much. The main problem with this arcane is that it will force you to be less mobile, with addition of only working for headshots. I don't really like it, but it can be fun to use with some weapons, for example the Encarnon weapons. Great with Laetum. The second arcane we can get is Cascadia Empowered, which has a very peculiar effect. Each time you score a status chance hit on the enemy, you will inflict an additional 750 damage of the status effect on your enemy. It is quite hard to see the arcane's potential, but it is a great one on low damage, high fire rate weapons. For example, here is my Twin Garkata build. It is absolutely terrible. It focuses on status chance, fire rate, slash damage and viral damage. I purposefully have not got any damage mods on here, just so you can see the effect. The damage on the surface is absolutely terrible, but the slash will destroy any enemy on the inside. While it is not the best, it is quite fun to play with, and I think I will leave it at that. Cascadia Flare is an arcane that will increase your damage by 12% each time you score a heat status effect on the enemy. The effect stacks up, here it is up to 40 times to the max of 480% damage increase, which is absolutely bonkers. The effect lasts for 10 seconds and disappears when the timer ends. Luckily, the effect does refresh if you apply another heat status effect, so it is all good. This is an arcane build for my Tenet Cycron, for example, because it can mow down enemies like crazy, and I think I will just leave it at that. It is my go-to arcane for this weapon, and um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's it. Burn the grass. The last arcane we can get on our secondary weapon is Cascadia Overcharge, which will increase the critical chance of your secondary weapons by 300% while your overshields are active. The critical chance is insane, but it is quite hard to keep up since you need to not get damaged and lose your overshields. The overshields can only apply to you by playing specific warframes such as Protea, Hildrin and Caliban and so on, but you can also get them by the shield charger mod with your sentinel. Yeah, there are so many ways to increase your overshields, so I suggest you take a look at the wiki. With this arcane we are done, thank you for viewing the video and for the end I have a little question. Which secondary arcanes are your favorite? My favorite is secondary merciless because it is so easy to use. Just kill and kill more with all the effects, but uh, I also love to joke around with Cascadia Empowered because the use of it is so pe peculiar. Quick fire rate, but no real damage. Very peculiar indeed. Man, I've been listening to the same song throughout the whole video while narrating it. Like reading a script and stuff. Freaking Dicke dick Titten. Yes, by Rammstein. I, I can speak German, why did I say that like that? Okay, thank you again for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also have a very nice day. Bye guys!